two fabulous demonstrations there of the pitch rate accorded to the pilot of the advanced Eagle by this aircraft's digital fly-by-wire control system. And there's another, out of that half cubinate, straight into the slow speed pass. And this is a higher angle of attack than I think we would ever see from any of the earlier non-fly-by-wire eagles. I'd, I'd also say a higher angle of attack in comparison with a lot that we've seen here over the last three days. those two enormous General Electric F110G129 turbofans, each producing nearly 30,000 pounds of thrust in full reheat, 60,000 pounds total. And with an empty weight of 31,000 pounds and a maximum weight of 70, this aircraft has a greater than one-to-one -one thrust ratio in most configurations. And here's the tail slide from the clean jet.
a beautifully controlled recovery to complete his display. Absolutely stunning. Uh, when this aircraft first came into service as the F-15AB model, uh, it earned the nickname of the Flying Tennis Court, so-called because of its large surface area. Uh, and uh, somewhat of a visual illusion, very similar to watching the flanker do a display yes. like this, that it just peer, appears very slow and graceful, but nevertheless it is very fast and very frantic. And the reason for that is with its size uh, being 43 by 64 feet compared to, let's just say, the Gripen at 28 by 48 feet, it has more than twice the surface area of that aircraft and therefore to scale looks like it's going much slower. One thing I absolutely love about this aeroplane, this advanced eagle, is the fact that, yes, it has various differences in appearance compared with the early models, but it is still so, so recognisably an eagle. Yep. Just has been flying for 52 years. Isn't that hard to believe? The aircraft now in slightly different F-15EX form entering service with the US Air Force and Air National Guard. The 18th wing at Kadena in Japan within the Pacific Air Forces and the Louisiana and Oregon Air National Guards, the first to receive it, but now very much a frontline asset in this F-15 QA form for the Qatar Emiri Air Force with flying wing five at Al Udeed, part of a mixed multi-role fighter fleet in that air arm alongside the Eurofighter Typhoons of flying wing one and the Dassault Rafales of flying wing six, both of which are based at Tamim and a good uh, glimpse there of the giant air brake yeah. along the dorsal. Slowing the aircraft down as the aerodynamic brakes by holding the nose 25 degrees off of the horizontal, thereby compressing the air in front of the aircraft and assisting in the slowdown. So that was Jason Dotter and Kevin Tinsley from the Boeing Company with the F-15 QA Ababil.